exactly what is uh, change and why is it so important to study during a pandemic let's take a closer look these are a set of axes for measuring the number of people infected over a few days now if you were to find how quickly the disease is spreading we would simply divide the number of people infected by the number of days but the infection rates for any epidemic is not linear it's exponential the rate increasing each day to see things more clearly let's put the number of infected people inside a two dimensional box after a certain amount of time this value will naturally increase now it may seem obvious to you that the growth in the infected population will be equal to the growth in the area of this box which is the sum of these additional boxes let's call the growth of area in that time da and those tiny differences in width dx if we assume the area of the original box to be x squared then the sum of the additional areas da will be dx times x plus x times dx on rearranging this equation we get da divided by dx equals 2x now if you relate this equation to the graph shown earlier This ratio is precisely the slope of this curve. But what if the infected are contained inside of a cube instead of a 2D box? Well then we will look at the difference in volume instead of the area. Now to find the growth in the infected population, we need to add all the additional volumes around the cube. The volume for each additional face will be x times x times dx. As we are still taking the tiny differences in width or height to be dx. So the growth in the volume will be 3 times this volume as there are three identical faces. On rearranging we get dv divided by dx equals 3x squared which again gives the slope for this curve at any point for any value of x. Well this does work for exponents beyond 2 and 3 and I really wish I could give another visual explanation for x raised to 4 but humans don't really see in four dimensions. But if we work it out mathematically, we get the slope of x raised to fourth as 4x cubed, just like we did for x squared and x cubed. Now, if we do this for every other exponent of x, you will find a very well-known abstract pattern. It all boils down to make the exponent hop down in the front, leaving behind one less than itself. And that expression right there is called as the derivative of the equation which we started with. And this abstract pattern is known as the power rule. The simplest way to find the derivatives of the most basic functions. It's very common for people to think that a derivative is the instantaneous rate of change. But if you look closely, this statement is fundamentally paradoxical. Change is something which happens over time. But then if you introduce instantaneity, the statement wouldn't make sense because change doesn't occur at an instant. Instead, we look at a very tiny change, and that's why this whole concept is known as calculus because calculus in Latin translates to a tiny pebble.